Let me show you how easy it is to anchor your image in a certain area of your document. The image will be anchored to the text, so if you modify the text, you add more text, the image will move and follow the text. So you don't need to worry about wrong position of your image. Or when the text flow to multiple text frames, you don't need to worry that the image will be on the wrong page, it will be simply move with the text itself. All right, so first let's drag and drop an image. It's a simple little PNG, so I don't need to set up a special image frame or anything like that. Here it is, I just drop this image here. And some of you will be happy with that result. Right now the image is not warp, not linked to anything as well. And it's above the text. If you need the image behind the text, you simply move it on the layer panel. Move it all the way down so it's behind the text frame. Here it is. A quick reminder, we can apply warping to the image itself. So head to the top show warping settings and by default it's none but we can make a square around it so the text kind of moving away and flowing around that image so what's the problem of this method let me show you if i got this jump warping i want this image exactly here because of the text that is around and then something happened to the text like you add more text or change the font size the image is exactly in the same position, so even the text is moving down and down and down, the image is here. And some of you want this, and that's fine, that's how you do it. But what if you want to pin this into the text, so it will move with the text? In that case, we need to open the, the pinning tab. You will probably need to head to Window first, if you never use this feature, and go to the text. And be sure that pinning is turned on. Click on it and you will have this pop-up window that you can dog later on around your interface if you use it often or simply have a floating window like that. So now we want to pin this image here to be in line. We can modify scaling base position and offset. Let's change to float. This way we still can use warping settings if it's in line it will not warp but if you do it this way we can still got a proper warping settings on our little image and it's pinned here can you see this blue link it's pinned exactly to this place in the text so what will happen if i got more text now it's kind of moving with the text of course, you will need to be sure you got all of those settings applied correctly. And let's head to the layer panel again. You can see now that inside this text frame, there's an image and there's a little pin on it. Click on that pin and you will be back to all of those pinning options when you can make changes. You can change your offset. You can decide how to align it to the top of the line, bottom of the line, and all of that is still here. You can even unpin it if you change your mind and you got no more image now that will stay in the position here and will ignore the flow of the text. All right, so that's how you do it. That's how you can pin your image to follow the text across your publications in Affinity Publisher version 2.5. I hope this short tutorial was helpful, I will see you in the next one.